With the February 2020 update to the Reactor Connect app, you'll see this new sign-in page. And this video walks through how to set up and manage your new account. We're really excited about the new account management tools because they're going to help you manage and streamline your equipment and crews and really help you make more informed and productive decisions for your business. So we'll first walk through creating a new account, then we'll create a company and we'll invite other users to join the company. And if you're looking for help connecting a reactor to your account, we've got a separate video that walks through that process and you can find a link to that in the video description. So let's get started with setting up a user account. First, we need to be here on our account setup page. From the app, if you skip the initial sign-in prompt, you can get back to it by tapping the upper right-hand icon and it'll pop right up. The process is the same using a phone or computer, so we'll jump back to the computer. And here, we'd either log in, or in our case, we need to create an account. So we'll use our email as the primary identification. We'll opt in for more product info. And we'll choose a password. It's going to send a verification link to our email. So we'll check our email. And we did receive the verification link. We click it. And now we just log in using the same credentials we just created. All right, so now we've created our user account. And next, we're going to go ahead and create a company. So we're going to create a company profile. Let's create it first. And then we'll talk more about what you can do with it. From the app, we'll tap that upper left-hand icon and it reveals menu options. From there, click on company. And if you haven't already created a company, it'll prompt you to create one. We tap the create company button. And again, the process is the same on the computer. So let's jump back to the computer. All right, so we click the create a company button. And here it's basically just identifying yourself as a distributor or a contractor. If you're a contractor, just leave it as the default. If you're a distributor, then choose the distributor option. And then set up your company information. We'll use the Graco headquarters as our company. After we click the button, we've successfully created a company called Graco Spray Foam Inc. So let's talk about a company. A company is what you're going to use to invite others to join. Um, you can assign reactors to a company. Uh, company members can view reactor data without having to personally scan the QR code of each machine. Basically, you're able to manage users, manage access to your machines and all the data, and it's all easy. So let's just keep walking through it. So next, we'll invite others to join our company. Starting on the phone, we've got our company profile open, and we see the Users tab. Tap Users, and now you'll see the Invite User button. Tap that, enter their email address, and then hit the send invitation button. It's that easy. We'll get back on the computer and finish the process there. If you're doing it on your phone, there should be no problems following along. We'll click on the company icon, then click users. We'll add the email address. We'll keep them assigned as a user role and we'll get into that more later. Now we see the invitation has been sent. I'll invite one more user. And now there's two invitations pending. These users will receive an email asking them to join our company. So let's open up their email account. Here's the invitation. And when they click it, they'll be prompted to log in. And if they don't have an account yet, they'd be prompted to create one. But we just walked through that, so we'll assume they've already got a Reactor Connect account. And as soon as they log in, they'll see an invitation to our company. They can accept. They say yes. Now, if they click companies, this tells them which companies they're a part of. So here we are, Graco Spray Foam Inc. Then if they click the company button, they'll see more info on the company. Now, one thing is they're automatically enrolled to receive emails for monthly, weekly, and daily reports from the company. So if they don't want those reports, they can toggle that switch. If they want to leave the company, they can click this button. Now we'll close this out, go back to the original Reactor Connect account as the owner of the company. So here we are, back to the original account, and we'll click refresh. And now it shows Jay Smith has accepted our invitation. As for the user's role, because I created the company profile, I'm considered an admin user, which lets me add other users, delete users, and do some things that a standard user cannot do. A standard user can connect to a reactor, 
but can't make any changes to a company profile. And at any time, I can change a user's role within a company. So here I'll give Jay Smith admin rights. If you want to remove a user, go to the menu option and click delete invite. Or if they already accepted it, you can deactivate the user. And they'll no longer be in the company and no longer have access to your company information. Another thing to point out, here on the header bar, you'll see info, reactors, and users. And this is specific to the account owner, in this case, Nick Pagano. So if I go to information, I can see the company information. You can see the reactors that belong to the company. In this case, we haven't assigned any reactors yet, but once we do, all of our users will be able to view that reactor's data. So you no longer need to personally scan the QR code on the reactor. Like I mentioned before, if you need help with connecting a reactor, we've got a separate video for that. It takes you step by step through the whole process. So look in the video description for a link to that. Okay, so that covers Reactor Connect account management. Thanks for watching.